This PlayStation 4 coverage is brought to you by AppWin.com, a site where you can win prizes by downloading and rating apps. Be sure to check it out using the link below. Hello guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from GearPop.com as well as DeFrancoGaming.com. Today's video is all about this. Yes, it is November 15th, also known as PlayStation 4 Day. Boom, here it is, an actual PlayStation 4 on my desk, no illusions, nothing like that, because this is made possible by AppWin.com. They are the sponsor, nice enough and awesome enough to make this possible. So guys, definitely check them out. Seriously, they are awesome, and without them, this video would definitely not be happening. But that is not it. Huge shout out to Poncho over at YouTube.com slash AlternateX. I hope I'm saying that right. But either way, you can find them across several social networks with the name Pancheesy on Twitter, Instagram, etc. Because Poncho is the reason why I'm having this console on my desk on day one. To make a long story short, basically he had two orders, one at GameStop, one on Amazon. And the one on Amazon was his extra pre-order. So he sent me a message on Twitter, one thing turned into another, and boom, here's the PS4. So Poncho... Dude, seriously, thank you so much. You have made my week. So without further ado, I am going to unbox the PlayStation 4 with my knife. But guys, I gotta say, first of all, the box really isn't that heavy. I think according to Amazon, it's 10.40 pounds or around that, which is not bad at all. And guys, I gotta say, the box is surprisingly thin. I mean, most, most console boxes are a generic square or a box rather, you know, like a square box. But Sony went for the uh, thin design roots, which is awesome. On the back it says the best place to play, PlayStation Plus, blah, blah, blah. Watch, play, and stream your favorite digital entertainment. And, and it has a picture of the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 3, as well as the PlayStation Vita. No, I still don't own a Vita. I don't think I ever will. It doesn't really appeal to me, honestly. Um, but the PlayStation 4 obviously does. And guys, I gotta say, the PlayStation 4, in my eyes, is my chance to finally have my love brought back for Sony products. Because believe me when I say, I loved the crap out of the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2. But with the PlayStation 3, my love kind of fell apart at some point. So I look at the PlayStation 4 as my chance for that Sony love to make an, an uh, awesome comeback. Of course I ripped the box already. Not a big deal. Alright, let's put this down. I just want to get this thing hooked up. So I've been dying to play this thing all day. I actually fell asleep while waiting for UPS to show up. Because I was tired and I woke up earlier than I usually do. And yes, my voice is kind of going out. Alright, included is a manual. This doesn't feel real. Like, this doesn't feel like it's happening. Again, AppWin, thank you so much for making this a reality. But yes, user's guide, put that right there. Special free offers for PlayStation gamers. You do get 30 days of PlayStation Plus, which is awesome. And guys, I gotta say, I've never, ever used PlayStation Plus. Because like I said, I wasn't the biggest PS3 gamer, so I never really paid attention to PlayStation Plus. But this is finally my chance to not only you know, try the PlayStation brand again for what it is and everything it has to offer, but also try out PlayStation Plus as well. So that should definitely be exciting. Of course, included is the DualShock 4 controller, which I gotta say, guys, I am a huge fan of. Take off the plastic. And yes, I'm talking in kind of the present slash past tense in the fact that, yes, I already own the DualShock 4. I actually bought this for myself a couple weeks ago. And guys, honestly, this is hands down, without a doubt in my eyes, the best controller Sony has ever come out with. This is such a massive difference coming from something like the 6-axis slash DualShock 3. And that right there is huge. It's another reason why I never got too obsessed with my PS3 because I love the Xbox 360 controller. So this controller, I am really, really loving it already. So this alone has increased my hype for the PlayStation 4. All right, so let's put the DualShock 4 controllers to the side. Actually, there's one more piece of plastic. Put that right there. 
Just feels awesome. Also included are a variety of cables. Is a variety of cables. I guess that's the best way you could word that. Put that over there. USB for charging the DualShock 4. You do get a power cable. I'm not going to unravel that, but you get the picture. Power is power. Power to the players. You do get an included headset, which is a very interesting take by Sony, I gotta say. It's not stereo, rather it's mono. And look at this. It's like earbud style. You just put it in, and you plug this into the controller on the bottom, like so. And boom! You are hooked up. And of course, included on this little doohickey. Of course, that word doohickey. I'm not gonna get. I'm not. I'm not gonna go there. Is an onboard microphone for obviously speaking. Hopefully, uh, in a clean manner. Can't stand when people trash talk and then I'll back it up with skill. That's just me. And an HDMI cable, which is nice enough. I mean, well, I shouldn't say nice, um, but Sony does include the HDMI cable. Because like I gotta say, I believe the PS4 only outputs in HDMI. So you kind of need this this time around. All right, main part of the show, the PlayStation 4. Let me take that box out. Oh, wow. It's really not that big at all. Let's put the box aside, which will be going on my eye shrine, by the way. Not my eye shrine, what the heck am I saying? My gamer and geek shelf up there. You really can't see it, but believe me, it's there. Taking the plastic off. Wow, such a unique shape. There it is. PlayStation 4. Look at that. It's a parallelogram, I believe. Very interesting. And very, very thin. It's actually... Its height is less than that of my iPhone 5S when put horizontally. So that should give you a good idea of how big this thing is. This is actually a pretty sweet design, guys. Because I gotta say, honestly, when they first unveiled the design of the, X the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, I was like, it looks kind of cool, but the whole slants in this is kind of weird. But I gotta say, seeing it in person kind of changes my mind. It looks pretty sweet, and I gotta give Sony props. It's unlike any other gaming console design out there. At least in terms of my personal experience. Now, unfortunately, yes, look. The PlayStation 4 does tilt if you press on that. I don't know why that is. That's honestly disappointing. Now, does this affect my purchase and my experience whatsoever? Of course not. I just kind of find it weird how it does that. But regardless, it doesn't matter. Up front, we do get two USB ports right there. On the left side, just blankness. On the back, we have the power cable, or a power jack, I should say, HDMI, optical, uh, your Ethernet, auxiliary for the PlayStation camera, which I do not have, but that is coming on either Monday or Tuesday, so definitely stay tuned for that. And then that's it on the back. Really nothing else going on except some big-ass air vents, because this thing obviously puts out a lot of power. And, of course, on the opposite side, nothing over there. So there it is, the PlayStation 4. Oh, yes, it does stand, which is pretty cool. Now, you do need a stand. Well, you don't need a vertical stand to stand it vertically, but if you are going to stand it vertically, I recommend waiting for that because it's not exactly sturdy in place when vertical. But um, that's why Sony sells an external stand separately. But for me personally, I will just be going this route and... Boom. I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed with the height. Again, it's shorter than an iPhone 5S put on its side. That right there is damn impressive. Okay, so to wrap up this video, I do want to do a quick size comparison. By the way, I did get Shadow Killzone Fault. Shadow, well, I completely, that was kind of weird. I got Killzone Shadow Fall because in my opinion, this is kind of the benchmark slash demo game for the PS4 and to show what this console is capable of at launch. But regardless of the technical aspect, I am really excited to finally own a Killzone. I mean guys, 
I've actually never personally owned a Killzone game. I mean, I've seen the demos in the past with the PS3, and I may have played a demo a, a, a while ago. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, I'm really excited to finally own a Killzone game. And, of course, on the inside is the, is the disc itself. You do not get a manual, but do you really need a manual nowadays? And you do get a seven-day trial of the PlayStation Plus. But, of course, like I said before, the PlayStation 4 does include a 30-day trial to PlayStation Plus. So, obviously, I'm going to be using that trial uh, before this trial. And I think it only applies to new accounts. So, I'll most likely only be using the one that comes with the system. Well, my voice is really going out, so I will end this video with this. Check it out, the PlayStation 4, right there. Next to, my god, the behemoth of the PlayStation 3. So to give you an idea of scale, the PlayStation 4 is indeed significantly shorter than the PlayStation 3. And weight-wise, I gotta say, this is not heavy at all, really. I mean, especially for a gaming console. But the PlayStation 3... Yeah, this thing could kill someone if you chuck it at them. Well, I guess you could kill somebody with this. Well, you can kill anyone with... Let's, let's not go there. But anyway, seriously, this thing is so much heavier than the PlayStation 4. It's a significant difference. Oh, and of course, right there in the middle is where the startup light lights up as well as the indicator lights slash status light. I had to play the, uh, obviously, the actual system to see how that performs. But you know me, guys, I love lights, so it's really cool of Sony to include that in, you know, in terms of its functionality. All right, guys, I am finally done. Again, huge thanks to AppWin for making this possible, as well as Poncho for making this possible on day one. You guys are awesome. Check out their links right below. And definitely stay tuned for future videos regarding its first impressions. Uh, versus the Xbox One, my official review, a tour of the PlayStation Dynamic Menu, a how-to video slash tour video of the PlayStation Counter, which again is coming in on Tuesday. Guys, in other words, this is a new beginning of gaming, and I'm really, really excited to share it with you guys. Especially in regards to live streaming. Yes, in theory, I could press this share button and stream my gameplay live via Twitch at any given notice or moments, however that phrase goes. But guys, I think that's incredible, so definitely be sure to follow me over at twitch.tv slash Gaming. That link is also right below. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. I seriously, I look forward to sharing my PS4 experience with you guys throughout the next at least, what, seven or eight years? It's gonna be awesome. And of course, stay tuned for my Xbox One unboxing next Friday, which should be just as awesome. And now, guys, I am finally out. I will see you in Monday's video, which is, yes, another weekend vlog. Peace. AppWin.com is a site where you can win prizes like iPods, iPads, gift cards, and more, simply by downloading and rating apps. Get started right away by using the link below.